Hi guys, welcome back to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. My name is Todd. Sassy's uh, burning the midnight oil, uh, earning that uh, meat money. She's gonna bring home the bacon. So thanks for stopping by, guys, on this another installment, uh, episode number eight, I believe, of Wing Nut Wednesday, where we give you a little bit of barbecue news and uh, give away some stuff, guys, because that's what this space is all about: giving back to you, our loyal subscribers, and fans and people that smash those thumbs up buttons and comment down below because we love you and we want to give you stuff. So before we get any further into this episode, guys, I just want to remind you that we have some open polling going on in the community tab for last Sunday's video of me and Sassy having a bit of a cook-off. We did basically some breakfast sandwiches, my style, her style, they both came out fantastic, guys, but uh, you be the judge. Go down the community tab after you watch the video, after you give us a thumbs up and comment on that video, and go vote to who likes the best sandwich. All right, guys, we have no particular barbecue news this week to share with you, other than we wanted to give you some sad news, guys. Unfortunately, a dear friend of ours, a friend of the channel, a father, a shipmate, a retired Navy chief, co-worker, and close personal friend of mine passed away at his home last week. It was with a shock and much grief that this happened. Just days before Memorial Day weekend, he's a true veteran. You'll probably recognize Rob from several barbecue crawl videos that we did. One of my first with Rob was to Desert Oak Barbecue in El Paso. Uh, I kind of set him up on this. He didn't know that we were taking a trip to El Paso for that purpose. We were actually heading out to Alamogordo for work. And I knew of Desert Oak and I kind of blindsided him with the idea. Uh, typically what we do is we rent a car to go to LAX one way, drop it off, take our flight. It was my turn to get the car. I picked him up on the way to the airport and I just started rolling. He went with it. I tell you, he's always been a trooper. He's a lover of barbecue. Um, he's a friend to everyone and an enemy, enemy to nobody. Um, he's really gonna be missed, guys. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description here to some of his videos that he appeared here with us. Uh, we also got a chance to go up to Cloudcroft, Mad Jack's Mountaintop Barbecue. He had a blast up there, guys. Uh, I'm gonna leave links down to these videos down in the description and also right up here. All right, guys, so let's give away some stuff here. This week, of course, will be Uncle Steve's Shake, guys. This is some of the best shake that I've ever had. We got the South Texas Red. We got the Competition Cow Powder. The Get Your Moo On Competition Cow Powder, which is really great stuff, especially on brisket. Some sweet dessert shake. Believe it or not, great on coffee, guys, and other things. And then my personal favorite, guys, Z Gator Shake. Fantastic stuff, guys. I got more, but... Uh, I'm not going to show them to you right now. Uncle Steve is giving away two full 12 ounce bottles of whatever two shakes you like and you see on his website, guys. So all you got to do is like this video, comment down below about anything, and be a subscriber to this channel, guys. Pretty simple, three simple things. I really should do a fourth, and that's provide a valid U.S. mailing address because uh, Steve is going to need to mail this to you somewhere. It needs to be in the U.S., and guys, from the time we announce this coming up this Sunday on our next cooking video, who the winner will be, uh, you need to give me about uh, maximum five or six days before I select another winner uh, if you don't get a hold of me, guys. Can't leave Steve hanging. Don't want to. He's a great guy. Uh, so if I haven't heard from you in about six days or so, maybe four days, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to pick another winner, and uh, hopefully they have a mailing address that works, guys. So anyway, that's about all we got this week, guys. Thanks again for watching, and uh, be sure to uh, hit that like button, comment down below, and then hit that subscribe, smash it like you smash that steak when you're tenderizing it, and uh, see you this Sunday on the next cooking video.